who doesn't know what is that this is a vape it's an electronic cigarette and it has nicotine I started vaping because I wanted to quit smoking cigarettes I started smoking cigarettes as a way to cope when I was going through a really difficult time going through my divorce when I first picked up the vape I was under the impression that it was a uh, less harmful to me than cigarettes were and I saw everyone doing it without the same kind of stigma around cigarettes and so I sort of just did it because everyone else did and I guess with the concerns around it I knew that it wasn't regulated I knew that they hadn't done enough studies on it I knew all of that but because everybody was doing it I didn't pay too much attention yeah it's not very logical or reasonable but at the time that was why it's being a sheep that <laughs> I guess looking back now, after having vaped and smoked for five years, it's really important to understand why I do the things that I do. Because if I just go with the flow and just do what everyone around me is doing, I'll live my life just doing all this stuff that I don't even understand why I'm doing. And so I've decided that I don't know enough and I don't want to do it anymore. And I want to teach the kids what it looks like to work through the hard things that come with breaking a habit. And so they know you vape? The kids know that I vape. So the kids know you vape. Do they say anything about it? They used to like ask why I do it and I wasn't prepared to give them an answer. So I think I started out by just hiding it. So I wouldn't have to ever answer the mm. question. I just sort of brushed it off by saying it's it's some, it's something that adults do. It's just not for kids. And then as they got older, it, as they started to sort of learn more and understand more, they realised that, oh, okay, it's not good for you. Um, she, she'd be better off not doing it. So they kind of just, they started to despise it. Every time they saw it, they'd be like, oh, why are you still vaping? Why, why are you vaping? Why do you vape? And um, I had to be a little bit more honest and, you know, say like, oh, it's, it's like a habit, a bad habit. And what did they say? Once I established that, they kind of wanted to help me to quit. Jordan threw it in the bin. Did you wait till Jordan left and take it out? <laughs> I thought about it. No, I really did consider it a couple of times, but I didn't because... I decided for myself that that was going to be the image that I burned into my mind as I'm trying to quit. Have you tried quitting before? I have. I tried quitting about two years ago. It's been sort of an on and off thing. What's, what's the difference? What's changed? I think I feel a bit more confident this time about quitting because I know that this isn't going to be a perfect journey, you know? Like, it's, it's going to be hard and then there are going to be moments where maybe I slip up, but I want to show uh, the kids exactly that process. Even if it is hard and even if it takes a few times, two years, three years, four years, just don't give up, just do it, walk through it. I think mental fortitude and mental perseverance is so vital when you're young. Um, I'm not. I don't want. I don't want them to learn how to be perfect. I want to teach them how to persevere. Struggling is the point. There are just some things in life that you have to fight for. Do not tell the truth. You're lying. Telling you my problems, meditating my silence. But I keep pushing my pen, rotating my stylus. Brokenness feeling like seeing, not no breath, low dollar.
I want to I want to take a puff right now because it's, that's just what I do. It comforts me like it's like this habit like a blanket or a dummy. I really do believe that like you know habits are broken when you replace them with better ones. You know like the couple that I have thought of are like you know breathing quick distractions that feel good that are good for you, you know? Or like a sip of water. Or like fixing my posture. You know, that those kind of things I always I just forget. So I need like a, I need like a cue. So it's perfect. I use like this craving as my alarm to just go, oh yeah, my posture. But in the same way that I have really practical ways to distract my mind. Mentally I feel like I can do that by, you know, you know, in the morning, right before I open my eyes, there's like a list of things that I say to myself, almost like brainwashing. And when you say it enough, you believe it. And I can add, you don't need this. You already have everything you need. Just, I need to condition it from the root. Yeah, I have to condition my mind to think that, believe that I don't need it. So how's the, how's the skipping routine going? Not great. I can't, I don't know. I, I, I... <laughs> It's not my priority. You know, like I feel like there's all these other things to do. And um, may maybe it's just that I don't... I don't know. How about, you know, your goal, as opposed to doing the skipping routine by the end of the year, it's quit vaping. By the end of the year, I'll quit vaping in place of the skipping routine. But what does it mean to quit? <laughs> 